What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys part two for my playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So guys, in the last episode, it was the first episode, we started this game, got through the intro, and completed two shrines on the Great Sky Island. And in today's video, we're going to be completing the Great Sky Island, completing all the introductions, and heading down to Hyrule Field. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, this game has been absolutely amazing. I have two accounts I've been playing this game on. This one, obviously, for playthrough reasons and for YouTube recording purposes. And then my other one, which is my main account. I've been grinding that. I put over like 20 hours into this game already. And I've been loving it. I've been loving it. But yeah, we're just going to keep making our way around. And I should have a ping somewhere. It should be up there. Yeah, right there is where we want to head because that is the third and final shrine in this area. So from here, we're just going to keep following the path, defeating enemies and all that good stuff, and just getting after it that way. I got a nice little wood stick. Is there a rock anywhere? There's got to be a rock somewhere, right? I need a nice little rock because I want to fuse this stick with this rock to make it a little bit stronger. And as you guys can tell, my skill with this game from part one definitely got ten times better. Definitely got 10 times better, because like I said, I've been playing this one on my other account, and I've just been ripping with it. But we get a nice little thick stick. We can keep moving forward here, and yeah, I pretty much know what to do, which is which is good for recording purposes, so I'm not just like walking around doing like nonsense for a little bit. But I got him. I do have a bow, which is good, but I really don't want to use the bow. Come on, buddy. Yo, what's he have? <laughs> Jeez, man. This thing just have like a giant, a giant like a platform on a stick. A dip. Nice little block there. And we are just hitting some people. So he had like a wind move that kind of knocked me back but did no damage. That's good, man. Get out of here. And this guy's kind of annoying. That just giant... Can I hit you? That giant... What's it called? It's just killer. I need to eat some food. That giant stick is just killer. Uh, what can I eat here? I don't really have too much. Eat some apples? I'm low on the apples, man. Do I have any food? No, I don't. So we're going to get out of there. We're going to grab all this material, which I really, really want. And we'll move on from here. So hopefully I can get this episode in about 45 to an hour, which would be which would be awesome, and we can just bang everything out. So we're just gonna keep moving along here, keep on moving. But yeah, we get to our first cave, and I actually really like this, uh, the Great Sky Island. I think it's a great way to like tutorialize the whole game and kind of like get your foot in the water with this game and with all the abilities. So I think it's really really cool. But when you come in here, oh wait a minute, we got these keys, which I gotta take down. Get all their keys, eyes, and keys, wings. But when you come in here, you're going to want to grab all the uh, the bright seed flowers. They're going to be very helpful when you're in a cave. There are tons of, tons of them in the game. Probably going to be your most found item within this game. I found like hundreds of them in my journey so far in my other game. But we make our way to this cave, and we have this new little enemy. Actually, did we face off with one of these things yet? These are like a burble frog or something like that. But you want to kill them every time you see them. Can I kill you? Did I kill him? I did. And every time you kill him, they're gonna drop this little thing right here. Which is a burble gem. And I do not know what they do yet, because I haven't got that far into the game yet. But I've been collecting them, and they seem pretty important to the game. We got all these rocks, I'm gonna collect them all. Everybody knows the rocks and gems in this game are very useful. And I'm gonna keep grabbing my, my, my bright bloom seeds. I get all them. There is a nice little cave here. There's a key side. And which way did I come from? Dang, I came from that way, right? Yeah, I came from that way. We got this right here. I am going to break this with my stick and, stick and rock combination. And then I'm going to break this shiny rock, which is going to guarantee us a nice gem. And this one has ruby in it. So when you get like ruby, topazes, sapphires, all that good stuff, they will sell for high prices in the shop. So you want to you wanna grab them. You want to pretty much grab them at most times. But since this sword is actually running low, I am going to grab another stick. And since I'm here, I'm just going to fuse it to this uh, rock. So just so we have it for later. Then I'm going to go back to my original. All right, cool. So we can keep moving forward here. This thing's going to break soon. Hopefully we can break this rock in time. And yeah, so we break the rock and then we can go from there. And I can bring back out my wooden stick. Because again, once with the rocks, they rip it up. They rip it up. Let me keep moving forward here. So let's see. We got two pathways. And when no, is this the way I came from? I think it is. And I just think we missed this chest. No, there's no way we missed the chest. Needs to exit. And we get the tunic. Yeah, cool. So we got our first piece of wear. And it's going to be... It's archaic tunic. So I'm gonna put it on and yeah, our armor sucks right now. It is atrocious. It's absolutely atrocious. Until we get later in the game. You, you we'll start finding stuff. But from here we're gonna talk to my boy Steward. Oh, this isn't Steward, it's a maker construct. So he's gonna start telling us about the Zonai devices. So there's certain devices like this fan right behind my face cam. 
it's a fan. There's a bunch of them throughout the map of Hyrule in the Great Sky and all that that do different things. Like, there's fans. There's ones that make you jump. There's, uh, yeah, there's springs. There's so many different ones. I definitely haven't seen them all. But you use them to build stuff with your Ultra Hand. Like, say, for this instance, we're going to be building a boat, a boat to get across this river. And we're going to need something to power the boat to actually propel us across the river. And that's what this fan is going to be perfectly used for. So really cool idea to actually bring in the Zonai devices. It, I feel like it adds so much value to the, uh, to the, what's it called? To the ultra hand, right? To the, to, to the building side of this game. And another, another little tip I want to give you guys, these boxes always filled with stuff like arrows and stuff. So whenever you see them, instead of wasting like your damage on your clubs and stuff, just pick them up with your, with your ultra hand, drop them from the sky, grab whatever's inside of it. You can also do it with these, uh, with these barrels, but I just like to break them. I just like to break the barrels. Same thing with like these things right here. Got anything good in here? Anything good? I kind of want some food, man. I need some food. Need some food. We got there. Tree branch. All right, cool. So uh, we can actually go over here. I think there's some fish over here, which I might want to go grab. Fishes are always nice, right? I think there's some aracudas in here. There you are, little buddy. I think I see you. Come on, where you going? Come here. Got him. An ancient arowana. That's what it is. An arowana, not an aracuda. So there should be another one over here. And I'd like to grab all like the meat type uh, animals in this game because they're so good for cooking. You get the raw meat. You get the raw prime meat. You get the fishes. They're just really easy to cook with and make really good meals. But yeah, we got to make our way across this river. So I'm going to take this old train. I'm going to connect this log to this log. Bang. Get a little bit of boat going. We're getting boatish. We're getting a little bit of boat going. We're going to connect this one. We really only need two. And hey, yo, I did not want to do that. You do not go there. We'll drop you off. We need to connect you. And come on. Nope. 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 Connect. Connect. Get over there. Get, get over there. There we go. We're going to connect that. And then I'm going to take this fan right here. And I'm just going to move it down like this. And I'm going to place it right on the back middle of the boat. Because now I have a fully functioning boat. Floats in the water. I can stand on it as a propeller too. It's looking amazing. So I'm going to dunk this in the water. I'm going to drop it down. It's pretty much straight on. And I'm going to hop on here. And what you can do is then whack the Zonai device. And it will start moving. The fan one kind of works a little weird. We got this one pretty straight. But for the most part when I'm using these. I tend to like go left and right and start banging in the walls. But I did this one pretty good. I did this one pretty good. We straightened it out nicely. And now we can make our way across this lovely little area awesome cool dope sweet and there's a little cooking thing here too so i might want to get cooking stuff but for the meantime we are just going to take these stuff and we're going to break them because i want whatever's inside of it arrows are always awesome and most of the time these things do have arrows in them which is cool so i'm going to grab these arrows and another thing is they left a what's it called here it left a piece of flint here, and what you can do with flint, if it's next to a piece of wood, you can just hit it, and it can start a fire. So now, now we can make stuff. Now we can cook some food, and what should I cook? I don't really have too much to cook, right? I did get those uh, those fishies, so you know what? I'm going to hold a fish. I'm going to hold a nice little mushroom. We don't need too much health, considering we are... We have three hearts, so something that's two and a half is actually perfect for us right now. So cool. So I'm going to hold this fish again. I'm going to cook this one up. And I'm going to drop it in there. Dope. Cool. So now we have two meals for when we want to heal up. Awesome. Loving it. Get the stamina mushroom. And we can see if there's anything else floating in here. Like these new stamp bulbs. We can cook with them. They're nice little roots. And there's also some rush room, rush rooms, right? Yeah, that's how it is. Rush rooms. These are good for like making like stamina stuff. A little bit of rush rooms. Or like meals that uh that boost your speed. They're really, really cool. So uh, the, the, the cooking feature is endless with this. I am going to have like a tutorial on how to make some good food. In the future, so definitely stay tuned for all my guides with this game. Onward. We have to make our way onward now. So again, we have to make our way all the way up here. This is where the last shrine's at. And that's what we're going to do. The last shrine in this area. Because after we get done this area, we hop down to the ground, which is awesome. We got these nice little chew jellies. Give me all your materials. And like I, like I mentioned in the first video, I'm an absolute sucker for for materials like i will hunt materials all day long <laughs> like that's just my thing that is just my thing i love to just be absolutely stack the materials especially early game i just feel like it's so big we make our way to this cave here and i believe there's enemies over here which i kind of want to fight but they're kind of strong do i really want to fight them not really oh there's a chest though there's a chest though all right screw it oh dude these guys are so strong 
He's gonna whip into me. I'm not even facing. I'll kill you. Get back, punk. Get back, dog. Hey, see what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not. We just, it's not happening. Screw these guys. Chill, yo. Look at them. They're throwing stuff at me from across the map. Yeah, it's not happening. I'm pretty sure they're really strong. And did I do that shrine? Yeah, that's where we started today. That is where we started today. Okay, cool. So from here, we're gonna get out of here. We're actually going to put a nice little minecart on here. And we gotta make sure these... Okay, jeez, man. I was gonna say, I have to make sure these dudes aren't attacking me. And of course, they're attacking me. Come on, buddy. What you want? Get Flurry Rush. Get, get Dodge. You're dead now. Get out of here. Okay, so we kill both of them. I could go kill the last one if I want to now, but... I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. I don't feel like dying. I do not feel like dying, so... Teach us how to select the shield. We already know how to do that. But I, like I said, we put the minecart on there. I can now rotate this bad boy, attach it to the end of that, and then we can hop inside the cart, slap it up, and check it out. We got a fully functioning minecart, dude. The, the possibilities are endless with this game, which is amazing. We have this nice little mining cave. And we're going to stop here. Let me actually turn this thing off. Stop wasting my energy. And we'll keep moving this way. And there's my boy, Steward. My man, Steward. What's up? The cave is especially dark. You will need light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? Bright bloom seeds? Ah, you do not know of them. The glowing flowers, there are bright bloom. They, are, they shine very bright, blah, 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 blah. And he's kind of hinting at connecting them to your arrows. Because if you can connect them to your arrows, you can shoot them on the ground and they plant themselves and create light, which is very, very cool. I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of it, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So I'm going to take out my arrows. I'm going to attach my bright bloom seeds if I can find any of them. Not the giant ones. We we don't need to use the giant ones. Where are my little ones? Where are my little guys at? There they are. I have 16 of them. Little bright bloom seed. If I shoot it into the dark, look at that. Lights it up. Looks amazing. I love it. I love the fuse aspect. Like, they put a lot of thought into it. So we're just going to do this again. Connect it to another bright bloom seed. We're just going to shoot it out there. And look at that. Light. We have light. We have light. And we get our first zonite, which is nice rock that can create zonide devices dope sweet all right let's attach another one let's send it downwards and look at all these rocks man i love the rocks give me all the rocks man I'm a sucker for rocks man <laughs> i'm a sucker they sell for decent prices too so like just collecting a bunch of rocks early game is huge considering money's kind of scarce in rupees i should say they're scarce it's kind of tough to get them all but i'm gonna take all these zonites give me them all and plus you're gonna need them to, you can build stuff with these stuff I'm going to grab this, and you know what? I'm just going to throw this at the wall. This thing's really weak. <laughs> and I'm going to pick up this one, and I'm going to fuse it. I'm going to give it a little fuse action. Give me that. Nice little fuse action. All right. We're going to bring out the arrow. My bow is badly damaged. I'm going to put this over here. And how many bows do I have left? I'm kind of curious to see how many bows I have left. I have plentiful bows. Cool. We have some few shields. We have plentiful swords. We're going to keep moving here. I'm going to shoot one more. Break boom see because we are at the end here. Light up this room, and... I can get all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Come on. Give it all to me. Give it all to me. Give it all to me. Keep getting all this. And as you guys can see, right in front of us, there's a bunch of these uh, Zonai guys. And they're, like, working. They're hard at work right now. Master's got them working. Look at them. Look at them. The boss has them working right now. They're just chilling here. He's working up. If you talk to him, he's going to tell you about... How he's making stuff with zonite so he's actually like forging these zonite rocks that we have been collecting and turning them into zonite devices like charges and stuff so i think he does sell them to us so we can buy a few i believe i believe he puts them on the table am i correct on that statement show it to me yeah see so thank you for your patience so we have zonite technology we have zonite charges and crystallized charges converting zonite into other useful material in this way is called processing so he processes all this, and we can actually just go here, and he takes payment in in Zonite Rocks, which is really cool. So I'm going to buy a bunch of these. Uh, I didn't even buy any of them, did I? I'll buy six of them. Yes, it's a deal. I'll buy six of them, and then I'll spend the other rocks on these full charges, which I don't know how much these are. Or two, so I could buy three of them. Actually, I could buy a bunch more, but I'll buy three. So we bought three from them. We get a couple of Zonite Charges, and there are more rocks over here. So, I might, as well, I might as well get them, right? The more the merrier. Like I said, they sell for a decent price, so better than nothing. The more rupees is better. Because rupees are so valuable here. You can legit spend your rupees on anything. 
You could spend them on anything. Now we make our way towards here. And we can actually pick these up. These are actually really cool. You can buy Zonai devices or you can eventually make them, which is cool. They're portable ones. So these are the fans and they go into your inventory and you can bring them out at any time. So really cool that they're going to give it to us. We got fan times three. So the zone, again, the zone eye devices are just awesome in this game. They really make exploring and like puzzling very, very strategic and very cool. So, he, so my boy gives us three of them and Pax and I talk to him again. I do not want to speak to you again. And we're going to have to create another minecart just to get on out of here. So I'm going to bring out my ultra hand, which ultra hand is like, I use it so much. I use the ultra hand so much in this. It's so fun. I'm going to do that. And then from here, I'm going to go into my inventory. I'm going to take out one of my devices. Look at that. So it's pretty much just a just just a fan. The normal fan that you just bring it. That you can just bring out at any time. So there we go. Build another minecart. Slap that boy up. And we're on our way. Let's go. To the shrine, baby. The lovely little shrine. I love the minecart, dude. <laughs> Look at us. Yeah, we're just ripping. We're just ripping it up. So yeah, we did all that area. We're making our way to the final area. Let's see the map. And like I said, we just got to make it there. Once we make it there, we are a goner. Cool, cool, cool. So there's the shrine. That's where we want to go to. That is exactly where we're going to start heading to next. My boy, Raru, is just chilling here. You don't have to talk to Raru. He kind of just hangs out. And, and, and whenever you see him, you kind of know you're going the right way, you know? So from here, we're just going to keep making our way towards the place. And this is what I was talking about. This is where you can build your Zonai devices. So if we want, like, fans and stuff... I can always come back here and build them with like the rocks and all that. That's really cool. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Get all my arrows. And there's a cool rock that needs help next to me, which I kind of want to go do. Do I, do I help this cool rock out? This poor little cool rock. I think I'll come back for him. Cool rocks are actually important. So, but for now, I'm I'm just looking to get make my way all the way up this ice place. So just like in the original Breath of the Wild, this place is very snowy and it's very cold. And it teaches you about weather. So when it comes to weather, if you are in a cold climate for too long, you will start to take damage. Same thing with the hot climate. So you really can't go in there unless you have like certain uh, material or not material, certain, uh, certain, uh, what is it? Armor or certain food to give you like a cold resistant boost. So, what I want to do here is actually find all these spicy peppers. Because I know there's spicy peppers around here. And I want to create food that gives us cold resistance. So, spicy peppers where it's at. So, keep getting all the spicy peppers. I think there might be a little bit more hanging around here. Gotta find it. The spicy pepper is the ish. And, yeah, we just stepped into the cold atmosphere. So, is there another set of, like, three of these? There's more than the merrier. I just want to just wanna build a bunch of spicy foods. I'm going to hop up here. Anything else? I think we're good. I think we're good. I can always make more if we need it later. But I think we should be chilling. I think Gene shall be chilling. So we have nine spicy peppers. Little spicy peps. And actually, before we go in, I kind of want to just open up this place. Anything in here? A lot of bright bloom seeds. Jesus, man. Like I said, bright bloom seeds are just everywhere in this in caves. Look how many we're getting. We just got like 15 of them. No problem. And there's a topaz rock. Or a, a gem rock. We got a nice little rubes. A little bit of ruby action. A little bit of ruby action. So, again, like I said, we need to create a meal. And a, a nice simple meal that you guys can make with just the spicy peppers is just the spicy peppers. You hold three of them, toss them in the in a little pan, cook it up, bang. You get a 7 minute and 30 second cold resistant meal. I'm going to do that three times. We should not need more than 21 minutes to complete this shrine and get out of the cold. It's no problem. It's no problem. So we get all that, hold this up, three more, bang, 7.30. So yeah, we, we might only need two of them. Actually, we might need three, I'm not too sure. We'll see, but three, again, plenty of time to make our way out of the cold. So in order to start making your way to the shrine, you want to actually climb out this cave. And get up here, yo, Keese, leave me alone. It's good, man. There's multiple of these little, these little bats. And the Keese eyeballs are cool because you can actually connect the arrow to a key sideball and it makes it like a uh, heat seeking so it hones in on enemies and it's just like an automatic hit which is really cool so from here i'm gonna climb up i'm gonna climb up again i'm gonna make my way to the ice area so from here guess what i'm doing i'm gonna eat my nice spicy saltine mushrooms eat it up 
Bang. They'll give you HP, but we're using it for the cold resistance. So we have 7 minutes and 30 seconds, as you guys can see, under a health bar in the top left-hand corner, to get to that shrine and complete it. So let's go. There's my boy Raru again. We know we're going the right way. And what just popped up here? What is that sound? Oh, it's an ice blurpy. These things just like explode. I kind of just like to... I kind of just like to kill them with an arrow. Oh, my wood bow broke. That's wonderful. Because these things kind of are of a pain because they explode like that and they freeze everything around them and do damage. So if you actually see like a white chew like floating your enemies, kill it first. It'll explode and freeze everything around it, which is dope. We got these birds. I always like to uh, kill the birds because they are... Uh, because they, what's it called? They drop like the, the raw bird, le bird legs. Why can't I hit you? Cool. But yeah, I always like to kill all the animals. There's another uh, food station here if you guys want to create more stuff. And again, we're breaking these boxes because the arrows are awesome. The arrows are awesome. And I'll pick up a wood, a wood club. Actually, we don't need one. We're full. We are full on these clubs. I feel like there's a cool rock up there. Kind of want to go check. I think there's gotta be a Korok up here, right? <laughs> there's gotta be a Korok. Let's see. Can you like walk like there we go? Get up there, buddy. Get up there. Is there a Korok up here? I have an odd feeling there is, and there's not. That's weird. I don't have my paraglider yet. Oh wait, there's a bird though. I can do a slow motion shot. Bang! Give me your give me your bird legs. Raw bird drumsticks. Loving it. Loving it. The dragon in the background's sick. It is so cool. It is very cool. Alright, so we make our way here, and here's a great example of what I was talking about. If we shoot one of these chews, he will explode and freeze everything around it, which is except for other chews. So he freezes this enemy, we can walk up to him, we get some free shots on him. Oh, he's fusing again. I'm gonna try to hit him with a crit shot. There we go, knock him back. And just kill him with that. Dope. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. And I'm just going to bring out this. I'm going to fuse this with a rock in a little bit. But I'll collect all my materials. We got all the good stuff. And we get a flame emitter club. A flame emitter club is really cool. Because it uses your uh, Zonai energy. To kind of get uh, to make flames. Which I really like. I'll show you guys in a little bit. But we make our way towards this cave. And we get bomb flowers. Oh my god. I love these things, yo. Bomb flowers are... They're the real deal. Bomb flowers are sick. They're so cool. You can attach them to your arrows and make bomb and make bomb arrows. And I need to fuse this with a rock, so we're gonna. Why do I hear like a blur a blurble? Yep. There's this boy right here. Hit him in the head. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna take him out and then I'm gonna fuse this with this rock. So again, these things drop these little cool crystals, these burble gems, and I just don't know what they do. I just simply don't know what they do. But they look cool and they look like they're gonna be very useful later on. Yeah, whenever you hear like a froggish kind of thing, look up, look up at the ceiling. Make sure that uh, make sure there's no burble, burble froggish kind of chilling there. But there's a nice little bonfire, and there is a nice little chest right here, which I kind of I'm wondering what's in here. I think it's like opal or something. Hopefully, it's something useful. It's amber. Cool. Used for crafting. All that good stuff. Onward, Link. Onward. <clears throat> oh, what is that thing? Oh, it's this little thing. I forget what these things' names are, but they're kind of annoying. But if you just hit them in their, their sweet spot right here, that's the only way to do damage on them. You can't do damage any other way. But we're just piecing this thing. We're just piecing this thing. But usually, they'll, you'll kind of want to go close to it, kind of force it to go out, and then you kind of just hit it with an arrow or something like that. Stun it, and then you can lock onto it and hit it as many times as you please. Oh, die. There we go. So they're, they're not hard enemies to face off with. They're kind of just annoying. But I get their item, which is going to be a lake-like like stone. And then there's a chest right behind it, which is pretty dope. So we get this chest here as well, and we get opal in this chest. Another, another rock. Another piece of rock. So we start making our way up towards this cave, and I believe we're almost out of it. I believe so. Yep, I see the, I see the exit just chilling there. And we got some more bright bloom seeds, which again are always good. And I kind of want these, uh, these stamina or these sky shrooms right here. Really solid. Always good to have like shrooms because you can make a lot of food with it. And then we have another enemy here, and I got a flame emitter shield. That is wild. But I'm just gonna take this thing out. I put an arrow on it. It's gonna come down, and I'm just piece this thing up. Come on, boy. Come on, man. Just whipping this bad boy. 
I want the shield though. And you know, let me pull out the uh, flame emitter sword or club because I can show you guys exactly what this scene does. It is really cool. Like when you swing it, fire comes out. Look at that, but it takes your zone eye energy. So I wonder how much damage this is going to do to this thing. Come on. There you go. Pop out of me. There you go. Hit this thing. Flame emitter club rips into this thing. See you later. It does burn damage too, which is huge. And I can pick up all this stuff. The only problem with the flame emitter club is it takes zone eye charge to swing it. So zone I charge is gonna come up clutch when you start to expand your energy sources. But there we go. We get that chest and then we get this chest. And what we got here? Opal and a flame emitter. That's really cool. So you can actually pop that on the ground and connect it to any weapon you want, which I think is dope. I really do think it's dope. And now we're back in the icy area. We have two minutes and 30 seconds left on our food, but we have plenty of other food. And this is a little shortcut I took to kind of get up there. So instead of like walking all the way around doing your thing, you can actually just hop on this tree root and climb it. Because once you get to like this middle section here, you can walk and recharge your stamina. So this is something that I found out. I thought it was pretty cool. Kind of just like make your own way around this game. And that's what I love about this game. Like you, there's so many unorthodox ways to get around or like to complete puzzles. You're, you're basically just making your own rules at this point. So I think it's really cool. So what I'm going to do is keep climbing. My boy Link do a nice little speed jump. And I'm going to get over here. And where is this shrine at? It should be right behind me. Yep, there it is. And here we are, guys. We made it to the third shrine, the Gutenbach Shrine. And look at this view, man. This view is awesome. This view is amazing. Loving it. Loving it. Let's go into the shrine. We can get our third ability and the final one that we get at the Great Sky Island. And that is going to be a very cool one. A very cool one, which uh, you guys probably saw a bunch in the trailer. But another thing they upgraded with this game is loading screens. Like, they're so much quicker than the old ones, which is always a nice little quality of life change. Well, my boy Raru is back out here. Gonna give us stuff. So you made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. There you go, big dog. Here's my right hand. <laughs> He's gonna power us with a brand new ability. Love this ability. This ability is just really cool. And it is going to be dun, 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 dun. the ascend ability. So the ascend, you can move upwards through solid materials, mm. upwards through caves, all that good stuff. Used awesomely. Mm. Like if you're at the bottom of a cave, you can shoot out to the top. If you got to get to an upper area, you can ascend through the wall. And it's just really cool. You're actually going to see exactly how it is used right now. So if we go under this platform here, we can hit A and ascend. And we go through the wall. Then we pop out here, which is super dope. Super, super dope. So from here, I'm going to go up into this one. I'm going to grab this chest. And then I'm going to go through the other one and make our way upwards. So we get a nice little chest. We get a nice little stone axe. Can't go wrong with a stone axe. Now we'll go through this again. Ascend all the way up. Right through this. And we're up on top. So again, the ascend is really cool. Oh, come on. This has an arrow. I blocked it. Come on, man. Get out of here. That's the only thing with the... Uh, about the what's it called ones. The Zonai weapons. They are a little... A little weak at times. They're a little weak. They, they die very quickly. But I'm going to take the stone axe. I'm going to break this. And what you can actually do here... Come down here, pop a nice little ascend, and you can go into this little area room. It's going to help you get to the next area. What? It's going to give you a chest. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I want to go back through. If you hit B, you uh you come back. But, so make sure you hit A when you come out. Now we get this lovely little chest. So now we get the chest. We get a nice little construct bow. So if you don't have a bow, you kind of need it for this one. Actually, you don't even need it. You can just take your axe that you got and just chop these little platforms. Come, on, come here, come here. Chop these little platforms and then go under the bridge. And what can you do, guys? You can ascend through. Bang. Ascend. Loving it. I love it. <laughs> the ascent's just so dope. Cool. So now I make our way to the final area and it's pretty much just ascend through these platforms. And get to the top. Again, this shrine is very easy. Especially if you already know how to use ascend. But we're just waiting for this platform to cross over to that one. And then I can ascend up. Bang. Back to the top. And there you guys go. Third and final shrine in the Great Sky Island. 
is now completed. I got you guys. I got you guys. So, cool. So, now that we've completed all three shrines, we have all three abilities to get us started in the game. We can now head to the Temple of Time. I believe Robert is going to be like, Ayo, hey, Jeans. You're, uh, you're what's it called? Your Ultra Hand's fully powered up to open the Temple of Time. And then, yeah, we can head to the Temple of Time. And unlock a praying station and be done with the Great Sky Island. Be done with Sky Island. And I believe we get another ability as we go in here, right? I believe we do. But here comes my boy, Raru, my dog, with the dragon in the background. I see you restored some power to that new arm of yours. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Thank you, Raru. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So from here, we can actually go over here. There's a few other stuff that we can grab, but nothing important. I just kind of want to go over there, but we can ascend through this little piece of wood, which I will do in a second and go from there. But again, oh, my cold resistance is about to end. So might as well eat another spicy sauteed uh, peppers. Maybe bring out my ultra hand ability. We got ultra hand in. Just need to drop this chest. I didn't even drop that at a high place. We're going to actually take this one because I don't need the, uh, I do not need the fire pit. I'm just break these open. I'm going to get all these arrows. I'm going to just chop this up and see if we get anything. Nope. Cool. All right. On. Oh, we got more peppers. More spicy peps, dude. Good old spicy peps. But yeah, we can go here now. We can take out our lovely little ascend. Pop up through this little wood trunk. And make our way out of here. I'm out of here. Sick of this place. I'm sick of this place. There's a chest up here too. And a zone I charge. There's always zone I charges inside these little things. I'm gonna grab the chest, but we got cooking here. We got for jeans. Ooh, warm greaves. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Let me put them on. Let me put them on. Over the over the pants are a lot better. Nice. We have the leg wear. We don't have any helmets yet, but we are thriving. So as we make our way here, this is where we can actually just leave this place. Actually, I could go up there if I want to, but this is where we can leave this place. And I really do like this place because I can go here and I can attach this bird. This is really cool kind of scene. I can attach this bird and it lines up and then you can hop on it. And it is going to take off into the sky towards the Temple of Time. And just look at this view. Oh my lord. And you can actually control the bird. If you want to go higher, you just stand on its back more. And it will lift. But you can actually nose dive down. Which is sick. But you know, we're just going to keep going. Onward. Onward. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I love this so much. It's just so cool. When I get to a reasonable spot, I can jump off. And what I'm going to want to do is jump off into... Actually, can I... Let's see if I get a perfect landing here. See how good I am at controlling this bad boy. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. No! <laughs> I tried landing up there. I tried landing it up there. Yeah, man, I wanted it so bad. I wanted to land it right up at the Temple of Time. That would have been really cool. But now we got to make our way all the way around. It kind of sucks, but sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes it'd be like that, guys. <laughs> that would have been sick if I just, like, pulled up right in front of the Temple of Time. Perfectly. Would've been cool, but now I'm stuck under lily pads. Can I get up on the pad, man? Get up there, Link. Thank you, buddy. Recharge my stamina. We can keep moving across here. And I like how they did add lily pads in the water, because in the for the most part in the in the older game, it was like you hop in the water, you kind of have to swim in with no stamina recharge. But with lily pads in the water, you can stand back on them, get your stamina back up, and kind of keep 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 exploring. You can just keep exploring. Now we're going to climb up to the Temple of Time again. Now we are ready to go and unlock this door. Bum ba da bum. Bum 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 ba da. Hey. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Yeah, cool. So the hand's powered up. Door open up. And we are going to, I believe we get one more ability. One last ability. Cool. The closed doors completed. Awesome. Dope. Cool. So we complete the closed door quest and we get over here into the Temple of Time. And there's this little here looking thing. It looks exactly like the thing with the with the enemy when it dropped in the intro. 
<clears throat> Did we touch it? Beams of light come out. <clears throat> Look at that. A brand new ability into the hand. Let's get it. This cutscene looks sick, too. I really do like it. I believe that's Zelda, right? Yeah, that's Zelda, right? Short hair. What's weird, she kind of just pops in here, gives us a ability, and it bounces. So we get a brand new ability. This, this ability is actually really cool. This ability is very cool to kind of like use. It's called Recall, and it's pretty much Rewind. You can rewind objects and all that good stuff, which I think it's really dope. So if one object is moving a certain way, you can rewind it and make it move backwards. Same thing with, like, say you throw, like, an item. Say I throw an item. If I hit a rewind on it, it will come back to me. It's really cool. There's temples with it, with uh, with you doing it, and it's just awesome all around. So, for example, we're going to hit this thing. I'm going to rewind this whole turbine, and it's going to move the opposite way. Pretty straightforward, but pretty cool at the same time. I can actually hop over to this one and jump here. Cool. And then I can stop it. So once we, once this one makes its way over here, we're going to stop the time. We're going to recall it. It gives you time to hop up there. And we're going to rewind it. Dope. Awesome. Love it. Rewind ones, again, it's pretty cool. Uh, I might have messed up. Can I hop up there? I can. Cool. So I hop up there, I stop the rewind, and we make our way to our first ever praying station. And if you play Breath of the Wild, you guys already know what praying stations do. You could pray if you get at least four. You have to get at least four, what's it called? You have to get at least four uh, orbs of blessing from the shrine. And they will give you either a heart vessel or a stamina vessel, heart container. So you can either get an extra heart or more stamina. But from here, we try to open this door, but we don't have enough hearts to do it. Mm. Maru comes out. You remain in a weakened state. You're not strong enough to open the door yet. But there's one more shrine on the island there. You can get another blessing. So he's going to send you to another shrine to get your last uh, orb. And once you get the last orb, you can get the heart container, making you strong enough to actually open that door. So he's going to ping it on the map. We're going to be able to just go over it. The pure pad travels it. And I can just go over there. Cool. That's pretty much right at the beginning. So I have a fast travel point right to it, and we get cooking over there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can I go to my map? The map. And we're just going to fast travel all the way over to the original room. Awesome. Dope. Cool. It's lame that he didn't give us a shrine in the beginning because we were already here. <laughs> we were right here. <laughs> So we load pretty quickly. We are back at the beginning of the Great Sky Island. And we now need to head all the way up, I believe. I believe we have to head this way. Actually, we have to ascend through this first, don't we? So we're going to be using our abilities to make our way up to the last spot. I'm going to ascend through this wall. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to bring my rewind ability out. And we're going to wait for this platform to come on over here. And that's platforms here. I'm gonna hit rewind. I'm gonna jump over on this. I'm just going to send me over to this one and I'm gonna hop here. And I'm gonna rewind this one. Send it the other way. Cool. 
I'm gonna keep moving here. And I can jump off here. Dope. Now, we're on our way, using our, all of our abilities to make our way to the final shrine. So keep making our way through this cave, all that good stuff. And here is the final shrine. The Nakoya, the Nakoya shrine. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but let's do it. Let's hit the Nakoya shrine. And I believe this shrine is pretty much all about using that brand new rewind ability. Which is cool. These shrines aren't, they're, they're not complex at all. The shrines, when you get down in the Hyrule and after you finish the Great Sky Island, are really, really cool because they're so unorthodox. You can pretty much do them any way you want. This one's called the ability to rewind. Again, you're just going to be using your rewind. You're just going to be using your rewind uh, ability. And yeah, we're just going to rewind this raft right off the rip and get moving towards this place. So now I can hop up here. I can stop it and we'll see what wants to come out here next. I believe another raft will fall down here, correct? Am I correct on that statement? Where you at, raft? There it is, yeah. So the raft's gonna fall down here, and again, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You're gonna wanna hop on the raft. You're gonna wanna rewind it, and it actually shows the path. So it shows the path as which it came from. And look at it. We are jumping right back up on the raft and making our way back over here. So cool. It is so cool. So now we're making it to the final room, and... What we want to do here is actually just rewind this to get the chest. And then we can finish it up. Like I said, pretty straightforward trying, especially since I did it before. I kind of kind of already know how to zoom through this one and get everything. So we get a nice little bundle of 10 arrows and we can head over here. When we head over here. What I like to do, I don't, I think I did this unorthodoxly, but what I actually did was I took out the ultra hand instead of the rewind tool, and these doors open when these hands are on the same lever. So they open when it's like that, see? And what I kind of did was I kind of kept it together, and I kept walking with this thing like that, and I kind of just kept the handles together. So let me see if I can do it. Let's grab this one. I'm gonna bring it down. And try to keep it on that. There we go. Go down. There we go. And I walked through it like that. <laughs> that's, that's how I did it. And it works pretty well for me. But again, in all the pretty much all the temples that you're going to start doing after Great Sky Island, there's really not one certain way to do it. There's like a hundred, not a hundred, but there's a few different ways that you can just like build stuff with your ultra hand and complete the shrine. So... That's how we're going to do it. I like doing the unorthodox ways too because it just shows that the, this game has so much variety to it. And you can pretty much do whatever you want. But we complete the last shrine. We get four of our orbs to shrine orbs. And now we can head back to the praying station. Get our first uh, heart container. And we can thrive out from there. And I believe Raru is going to say something to us. No, he does not. He simply does not. Is that my boy Stuart? Yeah, Stuart's here if you want to, if you want to talk to him. We can head over here, and this one's actually really cool. So you can, you can't, I don't think you can fast travel back to the, you can just fast travel to the temple, but what you can actually do is hop on another bird. Birds are the ish, dude. So I'm going to attack, I'm going to throw this bird down here. Oh, come on. We're going to line this bird up, and this one takes you sky high, which is wild. I get off of this thing. I'm trying to sell this thing in. There we go. So I put this one on, and we are going to take off. This view is awesome. This one's sick. Look at that. You got the dragon there, and look at us go. So I'm trying to make our way towards the Temple of Time. We're going for round two with the landing. I could just jump off if I want to, but I would have to land in the water. I'm trying to get a nice little nose dive going. Get down there, little buddy. I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> look how high up we are. <laughs> it's wild. It's wild. We got a clean nose dive going. I don't think we're making it to the Temple of Time. I think we're going to overshoot it. I have to jump off into the water. This is a little bit wild. Screw it. We're jumping off into the water. Ah! <laughs> yeah, make sure we land the water. If we miss the water, we die. As I hit like a lily pad, this is a pretty good jump. Awesome. That was money. That was money. Big splash off the top ropes. Right at the front entrance. Right at the front entrance. <laughs> That's hilarious. But I'm going to hop up here. Hop up to the next spot. And we make our way finally back to the Temple of Time. 
I think I have to do the whole rewind thing to get back up there, I believe. Kind of a pain in the neck, but... Look, guys, we're done with the Great Sky Island after this. Which I, I, I like the Great Sky Island. I think it's really cool. Again, yeah, a really good way to introduce this game and, like, show you guys all the abilities and everything. I can actually bring out my rewind tool. And re rewind that. And once this comes my way, I can hop onto it. We're thriving. Yeah, we are thriving. Jump on that. Oh, get up there. God dang, Link. God dang it, Link. So we get back on this one. Rewind it. Hop onto it. And now we are back up to the prank station. And again, four blessings means we can get either a heart container or stamina vessel. But in this instance, you can only get a heart container because it is your first. So we're going to drop the four lights of blessings for a heart container. So now... Our heart's going to be up one. We can have enough power to open this door. We can get out of here. We can get off the Great Sky Island, which is awesome. So cool. Heart container, baby. Four hearts. Let's go. And this noise is just so, it's so soothing. Cool. Now that we got four hearts, we can simply open this door. Let's get it, Link. Holding down A. Power flows through. And we get it. Awesome. Cool. We get a cool cutscene too. See you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. You're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Uraru's sick. Zelda said. I think he's such a cool character. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. So there we go guys, the Great Sky Island is finally done. It is finally done and now we get the coolest part of this game so far. Coming at you guys, we gotta bring out the ascent thing and we gotta make our way over to this edge. So what we can do at this edge is something really cool. We actually get, I think we get two cutscenes. Can I make this jump? No, I can't. I'm just gonna send it up again. Make my way over here. As you guys can see, there's a nice little ball of light. Love a little ball of light. We come over here. I think we have another small cutscene right here. Tiny one. This ball of light is actually pretty cool.
So guys, the massive store sword gets restored a little bit and Princess Zelda takes it. So we do not have it anymore. And the dragons come out. The dragons are so cool. I love the dragons in this game. But yeah, the master sword gets restored a tiny bit. And we do not have it anymore, but I, I just think the dragons are so cool. So the dragon's gonna hop out of there. Um, that's just like a cool little cutscene. Showing us the dragons are here. And she's going to show the land. So now the land opens up below us. The land of Hyrule, the giant land that you guys seen in Breath of the Wild. We get to explore in a whole new game. Link, you must find me. So there we go, guys. There it is. Finishing up the Great Sky Island. We can actually now just go. <laughs> we can just do this. We're out of here. We're hopping down. We are going down to Hyrule. Hopping off this place. It looks amazing. And what you can actually do here is actually just do a bunch of shrines if you guys want to. Or just ping a bunch of shrines. So anything you guys see, any shrines you see, you can just ping it. So do we have the bottom map yet? We do not. So right now we're here just floating. I pinged that shrine. There is a shrine over there. I do want to ping that. I saw another shrine right here. I'm going to ping that. So we can come back to it later. And anything else that I see? I do not see anything else. Actually, I see a shrine over there. It's at the castle. And there we go. So we marked a bunch of shrines. We got after it and we're going to land right in this water. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we land in this water, and from here, we can make our way to a brand new area. Oh, we don't even have it on our map yet. Kind of sucks. Look, it's right here on the map. Oh, I scanned it. I pinned a bunch of shrines behind us, which I really don't want to do yet. So, you know what? I'm just going to delete these pins, and we'll come back to them later. I'll delete these pins. Can I even make it out of here? I need to get on the lily pad, man. <laughs> I'm going to drown if not. Get up there, Link. Cool. I get up there and we are ready to go. So Hyrule Kingdom, we have made our way here and now I can go through map layers, which is really cool. So this is the map layer of the Hyrule map and we can just rip it. We can just rip it and get after it. Dope, dope, dope. So cool. We are on the Hyrule Kingdom. We, we do want to make our way towards this point right here. That is going to be the main point that we want to make it to. Because that is kind of like your little setup town. So once you get there, you're pretty much set up for the game. And now we're pretty much in a perfect spot where we can do whatever we want when we want. It's it's an open world. So we can go wherever we want, when we want. We can take certain routes and all that stuff. Just, again, whatever we want to do. But I see another shrine way off in the distance that I want to ping. Actually, I kind of missed a ping. Now let me delete one. Let me delete one ping. Now this is, again, not in the right spot. This is a totally different uh, area. But I really don't want to do that area just yet. Because what I'd like to do at least. Did I ping that one yet? I did not. That one should be in our area. It is. So what I'd like to do personally is to just do it. Like unlock an area and do it all already. So I did ping this red one. Why did I ping this red one? Did I think that was a shrine? Why did I ping that? That's a little weird, right? That's a little weird. Maybe we should just start heading towards the middle. I could have sworn there was a shrine there. Why, why did I ping this red? I might have pinged it from the up top. I don't know. I don't know, because there is a shrine there. Because there is a shrine. Awesome. Dope. See, I didn't just ping it for no reason. I was going to say, how did I ping this? But there we go, guys. Finish up the Great Sky Island. And I believe this is where I am going to finish today's video. As in the next episode, we are going to be discovering this land making our way and grabbing the paraglider and then kind of just doing our own thing so again in the next episode we're going to be grabbing the paraglider we're going to be making our way to lookout landing is what it's called it's like a little home area here we're going to grab the paraglider and do a bunch of shrines and kind of just do our own thing thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one peace out everybody